It's one thing to become well-trained and well-prepared as an academic, but it comes back to what are you gonna do with it? How are you going to practically apply what you've learned and make a difference in your life, in the world, or in the organization? I grew up in Yuma, Arizona. I was raised by a single mother. She actually had me her sophomore year in college and graduated on time. She jokes and said that I have to go to every one of your graduations because you were there at mine. She said, you need to go to college. I don't care what you study, but you're gonna go. So I graduated in 87 and finished an MBA in 89. Opportunity came very quickly. I worked very hard. From there is probably where I began to take off and it really opened up so many doors. Maybe it was the influence of my mother being a social worker and helping others, but I said, I think I want to do medicine. I joke and always said that I had two jobs. I always paralleled my civilian job with my career in the reserves. There is nothing like being a junior executive and having those kind of perks and then having to go out and dig your own latrine or sleep in a foxhole and just kept me very well grounded as far as where I was going. And I served at the Coast Guard Reserve for a couple of years, and then 9-11 happened. They said, do you want to stay? And I said, I'd love to stay. I opted to come on active duty, and I've never left. I'm a commander in the United States Coast Guard. I'm in charge of planning those missions that require health service support for all of the things the Coast Guard does throughout the world. On average, we're saving 55 lives every single day and I get to take care of wonderful people, men and women who are doing wonderful things for the nation. I am an avid pilot, I own an airplane. I fly my plane, which happens to be in my backyard. From DC to Norfolk, it shortens the commute, it's only 40 minutes versus three and a half hours and there's no traffic in the sky. I sought to get a doctorate in healthcare because I wanted to learn more about health policy. But I felt like having a doctorate in healthcare was that little bit of an edge. I was attracted to the University of Phoenix and the School of Advanced Studies because of what University of Phoenix stands for. Adults that are commonly working, that are able to not have to check out of their life and they can still earn, earn their degree. I enjoyed the teamwork because organizations are made of teams. I did a dissertation on physician assistants delivering healthcare services in the U.S. Coast Guard. This is the dissertation, 348 pages of blood, sweat, and tears. How PAs and physicians are delivering something that we desperately need, which is primary care. I am hopeful that some of my work will contribute to defining, creating, or supporting a model that can actually give greater access to healthcare for the men and women in, in the U.S. What we're going to look at today is the really process at UOP had identifiable, measurable objectives that you could feel to progress through the program. They had a method to get you through the program. And I have had some significant successes because of my doctoral degree in maybe reframing and approaching a problem for the profession. I may have not been able to make that contribution without my academic knowledge and experience. How can you not get a completely warm feeling inside and knowing that you're making a difference?